Hello everybody and welcome along to the next episode of the F1 Manager Haas Career Mode. Today we'll see the Circuit of the Americas, the US Grand Prix, although there's going to be three US Grand Prix soon, who knows what we call each of those, but we're going to call this one the US Grand Prix and uh, we're currently on a roll of five wins in a row. We've got a 1-2 again in the last race, we've had three 1-2s in the last four races. I just don't, it can't be possible, but we're going for P3 in the constructor standings. See the bottom left there, we're only 17 points back from Mercedes. That's the aim to try and overhaul them. So that's our aim today, really, is to beat Mercedes. But, I mean, another win? Right, so it looks like we've got some development points then for our drivers. So Oscar Piastri will put his on, I don't know where to put this point. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it up, I'm going to keep it on, on performance. We're also going to do the same for Kevin Magnussen. He's obviously already got great performance. I'm going to put his in control, actually, because he makes too many mistakes. To be honest. Oh, his overall rating's increased now. He's up to 81, which is good. We've also got a point to put on Jack Doohan as we keep putting him in for practice. Through this is, is somewhat important, but then the speed stats are more important, so we'll keep putting him on the speed stats for now. Okay, other than that, guys, let's have a look what we've got coming up then. Uh, so we've got the... I'll go to the calendar, actually. We've got the... This is spare parts. Don't really care about those. Didn't damage any last weekend. Side pod research complete. That's the next thing we care about. Crack on until that research is complete. So there we go. That's for next season. I haven't done any on, on underfloor, but I also haven't got any of these to... But it, it, you know, it's, you can see, it's still... Even if you haven't got any uh, CFD or winter allows to do it, it still benefits you just to look into it. So I might just do it anyway. Let's just do it anyway. But we do also need to put five engineers on it, which will help bring that down to 71 days. Uh, 55 days. That's still a long old time. Maybe i do chassis again then. 39. Yeah, let's do that. 39 days. Oh, that's even without five engineers on it. So 28 days. Perfect. Nothing else really to do. How much money have we got? 13 mil. I'll tell you what, we can afford... A wind tunnel or a CFD simulator. Now, both of these are useful. Uh, looks like the wind tunnel, or the CFD simulator, sorry, has, has a slightly bigger in, improvement look on these stats. That increases by like 0.25-ish. And this increases by not even 0.2. So, okay, CFD, CFD seems the more powerful thing then. So, we'll upgrade the CFD for 12 mil. Take almost two months, but that's going to be worth it in the long run. Uh, yeah, but nothing else to do is there until the, the race weekend now. So, once we reach Q2, should be very easy. With two drivers, should be very easy. Reach Q3, ah. Let's, let's have a look where we are now in terms of car performance. We should, in theory, be able to get through to Q3, but it's not. It's getting less and less guaranteed with every race that goes by. So I'm only going to guarantee with the Q3 with one car. But it'll give us 130 grand if we do. But I will guarantee top 10 also with one car. They want us to get fastest lap. Also guarantee a finishing position of top... I reckon we can get top 6 again. And then they've got to get top 14, top 10, whatever. That should be quite easy. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, what's the weather forecast? Yeah, perfectly dry for the weather forecast, which is nice. I should upgrade the weather sensor, really. Okay, of course, they've got 100% car parts knowledge. We'll put in Jack Doohan for practice one. Now, setup. Looks like it wants a relatively... Oh, no, high downforce setup, interestingly. Let's put it nearish the end of the bars, just so we can get a good idea of what it wants. That's it. All good for car one. Car two. Hard tyres. Now, this is car two. is very marginal engines. Let's see. 23%. 21%, 40%. I'm going to put in that first. We're pr almost certainly going to need a new engine before the end of the season. I'll put in that first engine. It's 23%. It's a bit marginal. But we're going to have to try it. Uh, okay. Set up then. Oh, a bit more flexible. What I suspect he wants higher downforce, similar to our teammate. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Sure. Uh, I'm going to put him on 22 laps, although we won't actually run that long. And that's it. Get him out there. 30 meters that was close it doesn't mean you know it's the end of the road oh my god terrible uh i reckon i should want to go less on that um oh because the soft tires won't do 22 laps 17 laps then that's moved way too much uh ah then we'll try it oh car retired what happened there hold on pause this conversation crash. i crashed that's not what we needed as if you reach the barrier from there <laughs> I once have been expecting that. god's sake still bad he still hates it okay I don't know what I'm doing. I'm being, I'm being an idiot. Uh, I think that's bad though. There. What? I preferred it where it was. I pff, probably just messed it up, to be honest. But okay. Get Kevin in the car for the first time. Put my set of mediums. Car parts. Whoa. That's marginal. We'll keep it in there though, because we need to. That is marginal though. Okay. That's a bit more like it. Uh, aha. That's a bit better. Also, that's probably moved a bit too much, but pretty good there. Wow. Really? You want that much difference between front and rear? Reckon that. And then, yeah, that's pretty good you like that. Uh, give a soft, so as long as he can do on the soft, I think it's 17, oh, 18 laps now. Where do we go? I think we go that way, maybe. Yeah, that's the way. I reckon that's good. Okay, that's a bit better. Right. I've not changed this balance. I probably need to change that a little bit. I don't know. Let's try. I don't think that's going to work, to be honest, but let's try it. I think I need to put his 
Oh, we've got oh, 20. I'm going to sleep the 21% in, and I don't think I can use any more than that. Okay, three optimals. That's more like it. That gives us a much better direction to go. Now, in theory, that means we want to change that. That will change everything else, but that's okay. We can hopefully adapt to that a little bit. We'll try that. That should be better. Uh, okay. Oh, he loves it. He lo I, thought, I thought he wasn't going to like it. He absolutely loves it. Tell you what, I'm going to try tweaking it one click. I reckon that will break it, but we may as well try something. Hmm. A lot less good. That should be an improvement, maybe. This might move too much. Doesn't move at all. I don't know. I don't know if that's... That, that, that should be better, actually. I think that will be better, but not by a huge amount. Anyway, we end up with 93% and 97%. That's not too bad. Still only 14 out of 15 there on the performance bonus. It's qualifying. Then we've got a one lap, one fly lap, of course. We, we end up with 93% confidence on the setup for Piastri. 97% on, on Mick, on, on Kevin, sorry. RP Mick. Uh, which is decent. I'll take that. So that's pretty good. Let's get straight into qualifying then. Fingers crossed. And no one needs to leave the pits now. We're okay for both. Nice. Oh, we're stopping over six. Piastri should be good enough. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, hold on a minute. That is further away from the front than I have been in a very long, well, for six or seven races. Best case, a second off. Magnussen struggling to get through to Q2. And we guaranteed our sponsors we'd get both cars through to Q2. Very, very odd. Right, let's send them out relatively early so they get, oh, I missed it. Magnussen. Okay, he, got, he found a gap. We need to find some time, actually. Oh, not a, not a PB in the first sector. He's got a car all over him again. He's got Alonso all over him again. I bet they've been side by side. He's going to be out. He's out. Where's our pace gone? Was it just because he had someone all over him? Piastri's only 13th. Forgot to change your engines. Ah! That's change what it is. That's what it is. Did you change your engine? We could be in for a long race, guys. I Yeah, I can't change it now. I assume I can't. Can I? I think I can. Magnussen, if he found another tenth and a half and scraped through, we could have changed his engine and got away with it. So annoying, man. Oh, well, one car it is. Oscar Piastri then. He's got a traffic-free lap here. wonder why I was so slow. For God's sake. We're actually P2. I'm not going to go out again. Absolutely, totally confident. Not remotely worried that I'll get knocked out <laughs> in Q2. We are fine. We're fine. P6 at the end. Bosh. We've got the pace again, guys. Anyway, into Q3 then, guys. We need to get, was it top? What do we, what do we guarantee our sponsors again? Hey, our P10. So we've already got that. We've already got... All bar one of our sponsor objectives, because we guarantee both cars we get through to Q2. We didn't quite manage. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to get to Hamilton in the way. Oh, traffic is so bad in qualifying this game, man. That's actually not a bad lap. Recent stuff has happened. In the end, the traffic didn't affect us too much. Okay, P5 right now. Oh, no, make that P6. I think P6 is our, is our realistic aim. All right, here we go then, guys. Hopefully, you can find some time here, since we had a bit of traffic on his previous lap. There he is, a green. There's another green. And there's a P2! Go on! We're actually P2 on the grid! What a lap by Oscar Piastri! He found almost four tenths. No, he found over four tenths in Q3. Wow! Right, let's give Magnussen a, a nice shiny new engine before we forget that as well. Million quid. Luckily we got it. And also install it. That's the bit I missed last time. I guess we also may as well give him a new gearbox. He's a little bit marginal on gearbox. Oh, was that a million quid as well? A million quid for a gearbox? It's an engine's not as expensive as a gearbox. We'll have it around. That's a million quid each. That's a lot of money. But then again, money's quite abundant in this game. I don't even know if we've got enough for all of it, though, to be honest. Let's do the gearbox first. We can afford. 41%, 30%. I can afford it. I'm going to take it. I can't afford it. Let's take it. We may as well. It's only a million quid. Money's quite abundant in this game. So we've got new everything for 100% of everything. We've got brand new each component for K-Mag. So you have a massive penalty. But that's okay. Start at the back anyway. Okay. It's not even suggesting a one-stop. How high tire wear is this circuit? I've never had a, a race. This, normally, I go full push and roll with it. But like, there's no way, look. We can make a one-stop work. We cruised. We'd really have to. We'd have to absolutely crawl round. And it's a two-stop race. So medium, medium, hard. Okay, so medium, medium, hard. And then hard, medium, hard. Well, hard, medium, medium, probably for Magnussen. Unless it has given us a new set of hards. We've got Oscar Piastri on the front row of the grid starting P2. And we've got Kevin Magnussen starting right at the back after taking all the penalties in the world. Which he is now doing. Yes, there he is. And here's our main guy, though, Oscar Piastri. P2 on the grid. That's a pretty go. good start, you know. That's a pretty good start. Oh, no, I thought it was better than the Ferrari. It's not. Is he close to the cars behind, though? He is, but he should be okay. Hold on to this. He is. No problem at all. Magnussen looks like he's gained one position. Russell's at the back with us as well. We get to get past him ASAP. We get to push hard on the start, at least. Just see if we can sneak past Charles Leclerc. And we'll back off a little bit in a minute when we need to. 
Okay, so I'm actually going to immediately back off and just hope that I can stick with him. The reason I've done that is because Deer has to be an active, active in a minute. I, uh, maybe I can pull away. Maybe I can pull away. Yes, with an overtake there. We're not going to watch all of Magnuson's overtakes because there's going to be a lot, hopefully. We'll, we'll keep a vague eye on Magnuson's progress, but we'll mainly watch Oscar Piastri here. We'll go for it. Send it, send it, send it. Okay, that's fine. Get it on the next straight. You've got all the ERS in the world. Send it. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, no, there's no point. I think there's been a lock up. No point. Because. We're going to get me in DRS now. We're going to be in sat in a DRS train now for the lead. Hopefully we are anyway. There's Magnus up to P15 now. To be fair to Magnus, and he's having a great start. I hope we can keep him there because with an overtake. Let's no, I'm going to watch one of these. All eyes on Kevin Magnuson like double one? No, not quite. Let's get inside. He's got a much better car, much fresher engine. He should be able to work his way way back up into the points. Here we go. Are we going to nail him? Yes, we are. See you later. How powerful DRS is in this game. It's ridiculous. DRS is way too powerful. He might be able to re-overtake us if he wants to. Look, look at that. Like he's literally going to re-overtake us despite us being almost pulling away from him. Probably nail him here quite comfortably. Oh no. Maybe. Yes. I'm going to try one more time to see if we can pull away. I'm going to keep it up for now. See if maybe the first set is enough. Because he's almost at a second there. But look at it. It's just DRS. Look at it. It's all over me again. I think we've had a car it's worth like eight right. tenths every single DRS zone. There's just nothing we can do right now. Absolutely nothing we can do. Still ahead, but it's nowhere near enough. DRS trains are savage. Right, how's Magnuson getting on? Let's check in with Magnuson. Okay, still working his way up through the field. Doing quite a good job of it, actually. Quite a bit quicker than I thought. And the cars he's around, we're very marginal fuel. Even though we put we didn't do it with fuel, both of them are still a bit marginal fuel. That's ridiculous. I don't really care about the leader, providing, or us in the lead, rather. Right, do I still get DRS? Yes, I do. Goodbye, Alonso. Look at it. We're basically a second away at the end of the straight. It's like we're side by side at the start of it. It's just stupid. Anyway, Piastri's back into P2, but he's sort of chilling, really. I mean, what I probably could do with doing, though, is saving the tyres a bit more like they're doing. Alan Piastri. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's going to be marginal. I don't think we're going to get it. Don't think we got it. Did we? Didn't get it. And now Verstappen's going to get us. They're a second away. I mean, I don't know if I've got the pace to stick with Pilate Leclerc, but I may as well try. I, I can't push any harder than either of these. Not consistently. There you go, a bit of DRS. Can I wait to get right back up to him? Now, I don't actually want him to attack. I'd love to just tell him just to sit behind. Yeah, look nice and close now. Oh, I, don't, I don't really want him to attack, but... Because then the problem is, then when the clerk attacks me back, I'm in trouble, right? I tell you what, what we'll do, as he's in the lead, we'll get him to really, really back off. I don't want to be managing this heavily, but... This is the problem, because how far away is he now? No, he's okay. He's only a few tenths away. Uh, he's doing nicely, but yeah, Piastri's a, a bit ahead, but not crazy ahead, to be fair. Magnuson's doing perf a perfect job, though. No, with no strategy dramas. He's the only one on hards as well. He's doing well. He's doing very well. I don't want you to, but sure. Uh, whatever. Whatever. I'm just, I'm just going to skip some time and hope he's... Oh, hold on. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, and he's... Well, actually, I might have just script DRS there. If I've just script DRS, that could be huge. I have got DRS. Let's let's see if I can run away. I don't think I can. I don't believe I've quite got the pace, but we're up to almost nine tenths. Never going to do it. Now's the time. Yes, just that DRS range. If they start battling behind. You never know what will happen. Oh, he's, what? He got DRS. What? How the hell did he get DRS? He was over a second the whole time. Bit of a joke. Okay, so people starting to box already. That seems quite early to me. They going for a three stop. They must be going for a three stop. Press boxes. He was the only other one on softs. I suppose if anyone's running softs, they will need to do a restart, won't they? I guess I may as well Ferrari. save. I don't need to save tyres, but I guess I may as well save fuel while I'm sat here as well. Hey, what? Well, we, we could even get a double podium here if they are all three stopping. I don't think they are, though. I feel like the medium, medium starters won't be three stopping. The clerk's actually looked after his tyres way better than me. He might be one stopping. Okay, Piastri back in there. It doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. I might even leave. While he's still with him, I might leave him out there. Nah, because when you dip below 30%, you are in trouble. All right, let's, let's leave uh, Magnuson alone for now until they start boxing. Expect Leclerc will get straight back here, will he? Yes, he will. Goodbye. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit slightly under on tyres, but it's okay. We're doing all right. Uh, start sneaking past the Ferrari, maybe. Yeah. Okay. People are starting to, The medium runners are starting to box now, so I suspect Leclerc will box this lap. So I'm going to box this uh, next lap. I want him to box, actually. A little bit shorter than I planned, but I think Leclerc will box this lap, and I don't want him to undercut me. So I am going to box this lap. I haven't got two mediums either. It's suggested we go to a set that's got 32% wear left on it. I have to run soft then at some point. I think we go hards next and hope for the best because we haven't got we haven't got certain I thought we had two mediums it's wrong uh Ricardo's or Norris box so we should be able to fly past Ricardo here no problem there you go right now let's go let's push now I'm not gonna go full push on the on the fuel yep yeah, yep yeah. 
Well, just confirming that Sherlock Hook is boxing the same lap as us. Let's hope we don't have a bad pit stop here. We need to try and stick with him because he's the one that's really giving us a lot of pace right now. Oh, we did have a slightly slow stop. 3.3 It's not bad, but danger of losing him here. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. All push. In this first set, and try and stick within a second, but we have dropped out of it. 1.5 as it stands. I don't quite get it. I should get it on the next zone, though. And how's uh, Matt? Okay, Max is actually doing this race, and Ricardo didn't box. Bit of a surprise. Why are we boxing Magnussen? Now, I presume Magnussen is in a similar situation. Yeah, he's got one set of mediums, but then after that, it's just softs. Magnussen should have more softs, though, because he, of course, didn't qualify, but... I don't know if, I don't know what we should be doing here. Strategy was wrong. It was saying I had an extra set of mediums or an extra set of hards than what I did. It looks like it's only a tenth of a second quicker than Magnussen. I guess because we're pushing. This is exactly what we need. We're now, we're now leapfrogging some of these guys, so... Keep, keep Magnussen on a, on a, on a push. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to get Piastri to back off a bit here, because we're sticking a bit too well with Charles Clerk actually. And I don't actually want, I don't want to overtake him, but we keep overtaking him by accident. <laughs> I'm going to try him on a light push level. It's probably too slow. We need to run a bit longer on here. So if we can run this on a medium push level, that could work. And then Magnuson, we want to do similar. We'll put him on mediums for the middle stint. We're going to need him only to push in the middle level though. Yeah, that should work. That should work. It's a bit marginal, but it should work. Okay, let's see if on push level two, Piastri can stick with him. The more tire I can save in the race, the better. Sure, I can't go to push level one. I don't want him to overtake. He's not going to. That's good. Put him on conserve. Surely you can't stick with them on push level one. If I can sit on this push level, this is great, but I do need to keep an eye on it. It's not that marginal. We've not been above like eight tenths ish. Might sneak above eight tenths now, but is it okay? Okay, yeah, so we start to edge away now from the clerk, but we are still in DRS range. I'm hoping down this straight will allow us to re literally recapture all of it back. Most of it, not quite all of it. So we need to go back up to light now. I reckon we could toggle between between push level two and push level one. Mm, let's go full push around this one corner. It's a guarantee we stay, we do stay with him. But it looks like, I reckon the clerk's just started pushing a bit more. What's Kevin Magnussen's lap time? It's like, what's he, 32%? Probably needs to box his lap. He's still doing 40. He's still quick. One lap longer again. We can then make that run one lap longer, and that'll be better. So I'm going to make Magnussen, I think, run one lap longer again. You do lose a lot of time under 30% is the only problem. No, it's got to 30% now. It's not worth it. Make Magnussen box for the set of mediums. Let's see if he has a good stop here. Doing pretty good. Yeah, 3.2. Should be heading the McLaren, hopefully. And he is quite comfortably, yes. Perfect, right. Don't, he needs to put his push level down a bit now. We'll just try him on four. Right, we're doing badly in terms of tyres. We need to be on push level two. Let's yeah, see if Piastri can survive on push level one because we just really need to save tyres. Let's make a two stop work. Don't know where a good spot to overtake is on this track. I haven't really had, been able to figure that out yet. Or oh, I needed to figure that out yet. We'll just keep half an eye on that gap to, between Piastri and the clerk. Oh, nine tenths. Hold on. Just come to the DRS. Yeah, see, it's, it's, we need a sort of push level 1.5, don't we? Slightly annoyingly. Uh, oh, well, that's Magnuson getting on. Let's go overtake on his ERS. Yes. Oh, yes, do both. Do both. Oh, beautiful. What a move. What a move. Let's try and make him run away now. Hold on. We want to try and get out of these, these guys' DRS range if we can. Ah, they're only two tenths away. Oh, that was... They must still be long side by side. They were. What a move that was. I love a double overtake. Boom. Round the outside. What a move. Lovely. Yeah, we do get DRS on Perez. Should be easy pickings whenever we feel like it because of how powerful DRS is. But we'll use DRS for now just to get up to him. I think I think we try and get him and then get up to Sainz and Verstappen. Then we chill. Then that's a three-car battle. If we can just sit with those guys saving tyres, that's the dream. Uh, okay, that's actually fine. Let's go full send. Oh, why have you backed off there, dude? God, now we're going to go full send, though. And hope he's going to get him immediately. DRS. I don't know why he didn't use DRS then. That's a bit annoying. Never mind. We're still going to fly past him. Let's try and get a second away if we can. Okay, he's a second away now, but he will get DRS. So he'll close up by a stupid amount. Yeah, we're fine. 1.6 seconds. Smashed it. Okay, I'm actually going to go down to a lower push level now because I don't think we actually need to push any harder than a push level three to catch the guys ahead. Oh, they're boxing. Ah, oh, that's bad news for me. <laughs> I was going to go and sit behind them and just chill, but that's a no-go now, apparently. Oh, nice. I don't really know that. I think they are three-stopping still, you know. We might still be in with a good chance here if we are two-stopping. Oh, okay, yeah. Shao's in now. That's... That's early. I'm going to go up to standard push level on Piastri and hope that that's okay. Now, I am letting Leclerc undercut me here, but he's going to stop again. So he's going to undercut me at some point. All we really care about is these graphs. They're okay. They're okay. Where they are. Closing in on at quite a pace now, I think. He must be pushing. Yeah, six tenths a lap. Oh, he's gone for hards. They're probably running to the end. I don't know, are they? Oh, oh safety car. Oh. My guys have just gone past the pit lane. Magnuson might still be all right. No, five kilometers. They've both just gone past the pit lane. That's such an annoying time. 
We wanted to do like six more laps on the tyres. We need to box under it. We haven't got any tyres. What do we do now? Sainz has crashed. Okay, here's the Ferrari. They can't make softs last to the end. That crash is terrible news for the team. Even on push level one, they just can't do it. This might have absolutely shafted us to not even be on the podium. So my choice is cruise around on softs and pray they last, but I'm pretty sure that will be horrendous. Stay out and just be in a whole world of traffic. That's my two choices. Yeah, the, yeah, the AI, uh, my only hope I think is that AI will pit again. Hold on with your second car. I think, oh yeah, you're right. That's all I can do. Piastri might come back out in the lead if put them on softs. And that's my only choice, isn't it? Let's put Piastri on a, on a, on a two-stop. From now, two-stop. We're going to stop under the safety car and stop him again, which is insane, but it means we can push like hell. But in doing that, we're also going to make Magnussen hold back the cars behind and really back off. He's just going to have to just work wonders for us, okay? Who is it? That, I think someone mentioned put them on softs now and then softs again. 14.6, 14.9. You see what I mean? There's, there's a bit of a bug right now, really. So I'm using Magnussen to just slow down the clerk. Now, is it worth doing the same strategy on Kevin Magnussen? Or do we just do we just completely shaft Magnussen and leave him there to hold everyone else up? I'm going to do the same strategy on both. We'll now tell Piast uh, Magnussen to push like hell. It's a brave call doing the same for both, but I, I think it's going to work because the AI won't push at all. They'll be cruising still on their tyres. Piastri, hopefully, is he, out, is he out in the lead? There's, there's Charles Leclerc. We're okay. We're in the lead. We're still in the lead. Just... Just. Is Perez want to be ahead of Perez? I think we are. We are. We're ahead of Perez quite comfortably. Okay. That's what though. Okay. We're still P1 and P5. They've both got to stop again. I think Piastri can do this. Even though there's only 16 laps left. He'll be one to two seconds a lap quicker than, than Charles Leclerc. I think I'm going to see if Magnussen gets to the end. Let's see. Does it think Magnussen, Magnussen can get to the end? Yes. It, okay. Magnussen can sit there. Not pushing. And we'll make Piastri push like hell. Right. Ready? Go. We run Magnussen behind. Who's nah, he's not gonna get he's not gonna get anyone. Right. Piastri now needs to just leap away. It's a shame the softs aren't really worth anything. If the softs are worth a second half lap like they should be, this would be an easy strap, but I still think he can do it, because they'll they'll be cruising around trying to make their tyres last. It's already up to a second. It's not a great gap though, is it? I'd hope you get more already. I know it's 1.3 and we just got restarted, but Oh Magnus, you need to start making some overtakes. Oh, he's just slow, look. Push level one. They're all pushing harder because they've got they've got hards. Okay, I can't afford to do that, Magnuson. It's too slow. 1.2 off. That's too slow. I can't. I can't. They're, they're not. They're not cruising nearly as much as I thought they would be. After they be after they're being pushed level one or two as well. They're not. They're doing all right. What I'd love is Magnuson to get past them and then just slow everybody down. But look, he's struggling to reach them. What's going on? Why is Magnuson so slow? Five seconds. Isn't enough. Not gonna work. We're not gonna win this race. We're only six tenths a lap quicker. Okay, eight tenths that last lap. That's nowhere near enough. We've been so shattered. We didn't, we, we don't have to stop anyway. We, we, Piastri is on the perfect strategy. In terms of when the safety car happened, we couldn't have done more because he, he was still leading. Red Bull gained the place. He's back and sticking with Perez now. It's, I think he might be a bit quicker on a lesser push level. You know, I think the tires are eating too much. Our box next lap for Piastri. We'll leave, it's going to be shafting a bit because he's going to be on below 30%. Ah. Oh. I just box in this lap and hope for the best. I might have got points here. Oh, wait. Oh, he is. Ah, oh, that's what it is. That's why he was so slow. Can Magnuson make it to the end now? We already shafted him. Might be able to. On push level one, he might be able to make it to the end. Uh, oh, we actually let Piastri go another lap. Didn't really mean to, but never mind. We're we'll boxing this lap. Absolutely shafted by that safety car. This has been the perfect strategy for Piastri. When, when the safety car comes out, we could not have done more than this. The only other alternative was to leave him on his current tyres which would have lasted a similar amount of time and then done this, the box on the same lap. We could have done no more, and I'm not joking. We're now 15th, 14th. Put, yeah, I've made, I've, made, I've made a mistake on Magnussen. Um, in that I, I, I told him to hold, hold people back. Let's see what happened there. Now just focus on the Haas. Got hit. And that's a big smash. They'll have felt that. How hard have we been shafted in this race, please? <sighs> okay, well, there's a lesson for future races. When the tyre wears high, save a set of mediums. And Hamilton's getting P2. Our main rivals in the constructors, Mercedes. I honestly can't believe how bad that's been for us. Normally, like a late safety car, you can get a bit unlucky. Like, oh, you lost a couple of positions, you lost 10 seconds. 
We went from double podium contention to barely scraping a point. I might not even get that point, by the way. That's far from guaranteed. Should we take people? Piastri. Yes, 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 yes. I need to get him. I need to get him. I'm going to box Magnus now just to get him out of the way. Because whatever, who cares? Uh, does that work? That should work. Whoa. Oh, go on, Piastri. He's in so much of a quicker car than these guys. It's going to be a point. It's going to be one point. That's still unbelievable. 35 6. Was that what I was doing? 38. He's three seconds that quicker than everyone else. Oh, why have I done that? That was stupid. I should have let Piastri get the fastest lap because now Magnussen's not going to get the point because he's outside the top 10. I could have probably Charles made Piastri Leclerc get the fastest lap. Bit of an oversight on my part. <laughs> That is unbelievable. We're still P4, but we just lost 19 points to Mercedes. When, when you're late in the season, around 19 to 22, that may have just sealed us only getting P4 in the, in the standings, not P3. I cannot believe that. How, how bad that's gone. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Nonetheless, <laughs> I didn't. We want to win a five run of five wins in a row there. We were in contention for a sixth. And instead, we get one point. Hopefully, you, you, you got some sort of weird, sadistic enjoyment out of that one. <laughs> anyway, guys, it ended our run. It was going to come to an end at some point. We were never going to win every race. Five wins in a row. We take it. But to then suddenly go down to P10 is absolutely savage. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.